Hello everyone. I hope you are in good health. My name is Ashfaq Ahmed and I work in the field of structural biology and bioinformatics. This is part 3 of the course I named it skill based computer aided drug designing. What we have covered so far, let's have a look. So far in part 1 and part 2 we have covered identifying receptor and uniprot and CHAMBL or CAMBL. Then we learn how to download the required data from BioSS present in the CAMBL. Then we also learn some data management or removal of some columns I would say from the data and in part 2 we learn how to test or filter our data by RO5 rules of 5 or Lipinski rule of 5. Today is the third series of this uh, video tutorial so if you haven't watched these two videos I'm not sure this video will help you if you want to learn you need to watch the part 1 and part 2 because the data we will use in part 3 is generated in part 1 and part 2 so let's start first of all I will open my Google uh, my github repository so you can find this link in the description section once it is open you will see biopython h100 forward slash biopython so change it to kate project now we will click here in front of removal of unwanted compounds part 3 next we will connect so this is basically the same introduction uh, you already watched in part 1 and part 2 this notebook is all about removal of unwanted compound from the data set but first you will learn what are the unwanted compounds and why we will remove it what effects it will generate on our data set if you are not getting this course so let me tell you first we want to generate our own library of compounds from those by SS and in later section we will use that library for machine learning and we will use that library for comparing our new molecules from other databases such as Zing, PubChem or whatever you have so before going to the docking step your library will be pretty much refined and you will not perform uh, you will not waste your time by docking some irrelevant compounds so this is actually the main uh, goal or the main theme of this analysis what will be the aim of this tutorial this part 3 we will remove some unwanted compounds and what are those unwanted compounds so we will discuss here uh, in the basic concept section we will discuss some pans what are pans we will learn what are unwanted structures or I would say unwanted substructures and here are some references so you can read it okay 
what are the unwanted substructures or why we will remove it because already we have some 5000 compounds so why we want to remove it or we want to filter it further or we want to perform such kind of analysis so you need to first know why uh, what are the unwanted sub substructures sometime a chemical structure or a chemical compound it contains some functional groups and those functional groups are mutagenic or highly reactive or maybe you can say they are toxic or they can provide some reproducible effects i have already covered a smaller video previously like for the toxicity of compounds so it is similar to that kind of video but here we will perform our own analysis there we were only using the visualizer here we will perform our analysis so this the, this notebook is advanced level of that video so to f and we call those functional group uh, substructures for example if you have um, a one compound and it has some carbonyl group c double bond o then it and if that carbonyl group provides some toxicity then we will call it a substructure so if you read here substructures can be unfavorable because they may be toxic or reactive or they contains or they harbor some unfavorable pharmacokinetic properties which are not suitable in pharmacy uh, in terms of pharmacy or in terms of medicine so we will remove those compounds which contains unwanted structures here is the paper published in 2008 by Brink et al and he assembled some kind of substructures or i would say some kinds of functional groups for your ease and he identified that these kinds of uh, the molecules which contain these kind of functional groups or these kind of substructure should be avoided and from here on they call it uh, unwanted substructures the second term is pans what is pan pan is a interference compounds uh, actually these are the compounds which provide high heads or in simple terms for your understanding pans are those compounds which provides high scores high negative scores in terms of docking so therefore we call it high heads and you will believe that it is a positive uh, drug indeed it is a positive drug but it carries some limitations it carries some interference what kind of interference it carries so let's learn about this these compounds that occurs uh, higher heads and but they are actually false positive i am sure you all know what are false positive it means it will give you a positive result but it will not be in real sense it will not be positive it will be false positive and another uh, property of pens that they will show activity at numerous numerous targets uh, they will show activity with many targets so you cannot say that this compound is specific to my target in that case we don't want such compounds which can bind you can say almost everywhere it means your drug will not possess a property of specificity so we 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 opt for those drugs which are somehow specific in terms of properties in terms of binding 
or in terms of activities. So we call it PANS. In this paper published by Bell et al. in 2010, they provided or they, they provided some compounds and they said that if such kind of properties are contained in compounds we will call it pans if you can see here in the drug molecule in in specific interaction it only interacted uh, protein b or receptor b it will not show a positive interaction with a and c but if it is a pan compound it will show interaction with all the three receptor so what does it mean it means that this is not a specific drug or i would say this is a false positive drug so why waste your time with such kind of drugs to 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 dock it or to screen it so therefore number does not important if your library contain 5000 or 1 million or 10000 so this is not the matter of happiness if it contains some pans or some unwanted structures it is a, a kind of uh, you are wasting your time for example if you find top 10 hits and if you use them for publication and later on if it is uh, proved or if that they are pans or they are unwanted substructures so you just wasted your time and your energy so why not use your time and energy with limited compound but go there with some careful filtration like what we did yesterday like what we are doing today okay so let's start first we will install some uh, program so we will first install RD kit and then we will uh, perform some import functions normally I cancel it so it doesn't matter you can cancel or you keep it okay uh, here we will load our data but what from where we will load this data if you remember yesterday we have download or in the part 2 I would say uh, in the part 2 we have downloaded uh, RO5 properties filtered and it will be here uh, this one so I would just rename it let's say I name it filter 1 okay now what we do we will upload this file to the notebook upload it's name it RO5 properties filter 1 now if you see the name here says ro5 properties filtered and here it is filtered one so if we run it it will generate an error so we will just put one here the second uh, another way is click here copy path and then paste that path here completely okay now run it so this is our uh, data almost contain uh, if I remember exactly some 5000 compounds so this is our data and I just show some heads uh, like say 5 compounds it's okay okay now run this column what we do we actually uh, use our decade and we draw some of the structures uh, here you can see here uh, 
3. It means we draw three structures. Now we will start filtration for pens. I'm sure you have some idea about pens that what actually pens are. So first of all we will uh, perform some initialization then we will click this run this cell and to perform some searching for pens you are seeing our total compound are 5430 and uh, the program or this code is searching our library and we will have some data now okay 100% click here it has generated two results number of compound with pens 490 number of compound without pens 4940 so our library is reduced further to 4940 compounds and 490 compounds contain pens so ideally we will want to remove it okay now here we just want to see the first three pens so these are the first three pens present in our data in totality we have almost 490 pens but we just short three pens that doesn't matter if you don't want to see it it's okay now we will do some filtration for the unwanted substructures i explained above and let's run this cell okay wait we have some error let me fix it okay the error says that name data is not defined you can see here uh, it says data and here some file so the computer or the script cannot find this file so what I did you can also find this data from this uh, article otherwise I will provide the list of this unwanted structures uh, I will try to provide it with the description section uh, so far I haven't tried whether I will be able to upload some file to the description section of this video um, if I'm able I will provide if not then I will do something um, I will uh, provide this file with some other means so let's first use it how we will solve this problem the problem to solve I will the data is here and uh, let's say here is the data unwanted substructure so I will load this data first here it's here now to make it readable I, I'll click here copy path and do this way control V now if you see this double dash here but not here so you will need to provide also here now let click it again okay the collection contained 104 compounds and I'm happy it generated this error at least you learn something how you will fix it in future.
okay so our data is uh, uploaded and read it by the program okay now we will look some substructures from the data you can see okay but remember these substructures are present in this data which we uploaded and which was collected by in this uh, publication so you can also collect it from there doesn't matter okay now we will search our data for the unwanted substructures now you can see the data is already reduced from 5000 to 4940 In the next step, uh, once it is completed, we will uh, see some statistics like how many unwanted substructures are there. In the meanwhile, I can only request you to click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay. Oh my god. Number of found unwanted substructure 3826. Number of compound without unwanted sub substructures 2396. Still 2396 is a huge number, don't worry. Okay, we will highlight some of the substructures here which are contained in our data, but these molecules contain some uh, substructures now we will see some statistic because if you read that uh, paper published in 2008 uh, these substructures are classified in different groups so in our data 75 compounds contain halogenated ring 79 compounds contain hydroxamic acid etc etc and 187 contains imine group and nitro group 194 so these are actually the statistics of these unwanted substructures So that's it. Uh, that's it. We have uh, did some filtration and we came to know how we will find the unwanted substructures. You can also upload your own data set uh, here like what we did uh, above and you can calculate for pans and you can calculate for uh, some unwanted substructures. Now the question is how to download this data. Okay, we, we, we came to know that almost uh, here 3826 contain the substructures. So we want to download this data. The cells are not present in this notebook. And somehow I did it uh, intentionally because i also want you not only to click and to watch the video and click i also want you to start practicing and writing some smaller codes and i will teach you how to write but how how you will download this data because this is the last this was the last cell which you ran it now we will introduce another cell how you will introduce just come here so when you bring your mouse here you will see two things code and text you need to click code now you can see uh, an empty lines just appeared now what to download this is important 
I mean from where how you will know what to download so remember come here this is the statistics it has nothing with the data the real data calculation which we did was in this step can you see yes then in this step if you see we just print we just print what we print number of found unwanted substructures and if you see here matches len and in smaller brackets matches again we print number of compounds without unwanted substructures so here here we can see matches and here we can see egfr underscore data it means that this code has created two subset of data you can also see here matches is equal to panda data frame that will be called matches and egfr data will be equal to a clean data so now we came to know that we need to download two datas one will contain those matches how many 3826 the other will contain the clean version of data which is here and its name will be egfr data and the one contains the unwanted substructures the names will contain matches so these data frames are already prepared we just only need to download so come here at the bottom and type so first we will download the matches data which are the unwanted substructures found in our data so we will write matches the program will help you also matches dot csv matches sorry matches to underscore you can see here it's almost written uh, here so what you need now you don't need to write you just press the tab button on your computer again okay once you click the tab button you will have this kind of code now the code is complete but don't run it i want the index number so if you want the index number in the file just write true but the cap the t must be capital okay i want the names like uh, data with unwanted compounds dot csv run it after some time you will see uh, here data with unwanted compound dot csv if it if it is taking longer you just right click refresh here it is now okay let me first also download the second data the clean version code now what is the name of the clean data the clean data set egfr underscore data egfr underscore data already the, the the computer has gave you an option like this is your code you just click tab now the index is true and each and everything are fine so you just need to change the name data Simply say, uh, I would say, 
clean EGFR data. EGFR underscore data and click it will download another file clean EGFR data here now we will download from here to our computer download and data with unwanted compounds we will click here and click download now we have two files downloaded they are present in the download folder first i will open the data with unwanted compounds these are all those compounds which were extracted because they contain unwanted substructures and there were 3825 which we already know and this data it contains two thousand three ninety seven or yes so it actually 2396 because the first row is not a molecular entry it's something just like i would say the the, the heading panels okay that's it so in this tutorial what we did we just filter our data set with and clean it from the unwanted structures but always i also um, ask to my student also i will ask you that try not to follow um, each and everything this way use your mind that how can i use these codes for your own data if your data is not from the Kimball, so if you only want to clean your codes to clean your data so how can you just upload your data here like in the csv upload your data here and just run all the cells or you can think innovatively and bring some other way uh, how to use this notebook in your research thank you so much and uh, if you haven't subscribed uh, this channel you please subscribe it and it will just give me an idea that people are loving my work so i will it will simply boost my energies and uh, it's really hard things to do otherwise i can also do it for myself and will publish my own data but uh, i'm preparing these things uh, from some time from my own self sometime I, i'm reading some other stuffs and bringing it here and so it took time and if you like me to to, to keep going this way and make uh, all such kind of videos uh, from easy to advanced level then I would suggest uh, support this channel it means you are supporting me so stay happy and wherever you are be happy and bye bye